Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm the Chris Crash, and this is Ghostmaster. Uh, this is a random game I found on Steam, and uh, as I, everyone knows, the Steam summer, summer sale is going on, and uh, I picked this one up because it looked pretty cool. So, I already went through the tutorial, uh, just to save some time, and, uh, well, this is a really interesting game. Uh, it's a, it's like a top-down tower defense, almost, but it's got a lot of really cool elements. Um, I already went through Haunting 101 so I could learn the controls and really just what to do. So, um, and a few of these opened up. I guess these are levels. Um, what is this? High scares. Ah, it's like high scores, but it's not. Alright, uh, so let's do the, the Calamityville Horror. Ooh, creepy. Though the spirit world is strong, a more- A sweet oh, okay. little old lady used to dwell within these walls. But her mind was fading, and her sanity fleeting. She loved receiving visitors, and hated to see them go. So she administered arsenic in their tea, Goodness. and made certain they would stay a while. Stay forever! The house itself has become unsettled by these events. And although it is not truly sentient, we still have a duty to protect the interests of the unseen world. Let the events that have until now been hidden become known to the mortals. Reveal the corpses to them, and your goal shall be fulfilled. But beware, for one cadaver may not suffice to convince the skeptical police that something sinister is afoot. Okay, so, um, kind of hard to explain off the top here, uh, but basically I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to recommend or get their recommendations of what kind of, um, haunters I want to use. Now, haunters are ghosts, obviously, ghosts and, like, paranormal stuff, um, and uh, mortals are people, uh, normal people. So let's um, let's go haunt. Let's do this. Reveal the hidden corpses to the mortals. Okay. Um. So yeah, he already said that. So this is the game. That's it. Bye. No. Um. So all right. So I can. Uh, I use this on the right side of the keyboard, which is really weird. Um. Okay, so basically, uh, this is a house. My job is to um, scare people, but using uh, almost like traps. Um, so if you play tower defense games, you'll kind of pick up on this a little quick. Um, so there's just so much to go over because <laughs> the, the tutorial was like itself was like 30 minutes long. It was a pretty pretty in depth tutorial. Um, so here's all the people that are in the house right now. Um, so let's take Steve Hutz, for example. T is terror. Uh, M is for, um, like, mania. Like, if it goes over a certain amount, they'll go crazy. Uh, B is for uh, their belief. So whether or not they believe in, in ghosts and stuff. So so Carol Carol Ann Hutz is, uh, is a true believer. While Steve Hutz is, couldn't really care less. Um, so my job is basically to scare the crap out of these people, and apparently the mission um, for this level is to show them the corpses um, of the of the the people that that lady killed, uh, which is in the attic. I think so. I think it was in. Yeah, right there. All right. So I need I need to somehow lead them in there. I don't know how. Can I do that? Um, the tutorial didn't. Oh, she's pooping. The tutorial didn't really go over stuff like this. It's just kind of like this is how you scare people, and that's it. Um, so let's jump in. So what I can do, um, if you see my uh, my cursor is going green over everything, that means I can bind um, haunters to the uh, to the room. And different rooms sometimes have different uh, things that can haunt. Like this right here is the piano, um, which is violence and emotional. So I can go over here. See, uh, this ghastly, his fetter, which is power, I don't know why they just don't call it powers or something, his fetter is violence. So that means I could put him in the piano and assign him certain things. Um, so, let's uh, let's do some stuff. So, there's a bunch of people in this room, so let's, I'm sure we could probably scare them. Let's throw some pianos at them. Uh, now, this up here, um, at the very top left, it's kind of glowing. That's the uh, plasm, I think. And um, 
that's basically uh, your power. Like, so it basically keeps you from spawning like a thousand things and just scaring the crap out of everybody uh, really fast. So the more plasma you have, the more stuff you can do. You get plasma by scaring people, making them leave the house, and, and all that stuff. Um, so let's jump in. All right. So Ghastly, his feathers. He, we're gonna bind him to the piano. Bing. All right. So they can't see. Um, he looks creepy. They can't really see uh, the ghosts until I give them uh, an assigned power. So let's go to his powers and um, let's see. Let's just start with something easy. Let's make it cold in the room. A chill atmosphere pervades or dread. What does that do? Causes mortals to feel quite afraid. We'll do that. We'll kind of like start a little slow. Now, as you can see at the very bottom of this little menu, uh, Plasm says 75, and that means that's just how much it's going to use. Um, so let's we'll, we'll kind of start a little small. Let's just go with cold. All right. So click on that. And now it's getting kind of cold in that room. And as you see, the people, they're like, oh, it's a little chilly in here. So they're going to go turn up the air. <laughs> and that's it. No. Um. All right. So... Well, this is going to be the main hallway, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on here. Or a lot of people are going to go through there. So, what's um? What are people in the kitchen? I need something in the kitchen. Um, child. So you can actually um, you can like do their POV. Like, who's this guy? This child. Oh, it's Carol Ann. That's the believer. So you can do like a POV, which is kind of cool. So right now she's making some chicken in the microwave. Look how beautiful that looks. It's perfect. I can almost see numbers. Oh. It's done. So yeah, you can kind of like follow them through the house. You can't really do anything right now, at least yet that I know of. Um, so, all right. So Carol Ann is a believer. So let's kind of scare her. And I'm sure if she gets scared, other people are going to be scared. So, okay. So she just cut on the TV. She's going to sit, eat, and watch TV. It's electrical. Do I have anything electrical? Uh, no? Not really? I'm going to have something electrical. Guess not. Um, all right. So at the very top here, let's go up to the very top. Uh, see this ghost right here? Now there's some ghosts hidden in some of the levels, not really hidden, but that are in the levels. Uh, and there's a chain, and basically you have to, to in order to lock, unlock this person, um, I have to find a way to free her. Now if I click on her, we'll get her story. Hello, sir, or madam, or well, whatever you are. Can I interest you in our range of facial care products? Our hydrating night silk works in conjunction with our non-foaming, revitalizing face wash and our botanical moisture splash. May I spritz you with our fragrance? No. If we could just arrange to demonstrate our products on one of the ladies of the house, I'm sure we can reach some amicable arrangement regarding the purchase of our fine range of perfumery and cosmetic enhancement solutions. Okay. So, um, what I have to do is... What's the sound? Is that water? Oh, okay. Yeah, take a shower. Um, so what I have to do is find a way to um, to basically free her. Um, in the last level, this weather witch right here, um, she was like chained to a vacuum. Um, so I had to use one of the goblins or whatever that I had to uh, to manip manipulate the things in the room to free her. So it was kind of cool. It's like a little mini puzzle inside of the game, which is uh, kind of unnecessary. So what is this? So that's an emotional thing. So I have anything emotional? Um, I don't see anything. All right, all right. We'll, we'll come back to it later. Um, yeah, the announcer lady, lady in the, uh, the tutorial was like yelling at me. It was like, it made me really stressed out. She was like legitimately just yelling on the top of her lungs at me. She was pissed because I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. All right, so that guy's still making the room cold, I think. Um, so we're gonna do something with this main hallway. We need to bind something. So when I hover over these, you see in certain parts of the house turn green. That means that's that's where I can use that uh, that specific uh, haunter guy thing. So let's bind him to this room, since there seems to be a lot of people there. All right, and let's make him. Uh, what does leak? Causes unexpected flow of water. I guess that would be kind of weird in a. That was, that was unnecessary. Uh, I guess that would be kind of weird. In, oh. What? What is this? Okay. That was weird. So, leak. Because unexpected flow. Good, there's someone in there right now. I guess that's... Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, there's water flowing out of the windows and walls. Till the sweat drops down my... Okay. Um... <laughs> 
So are you guys not scared of all this? There's water just coming out of the walls. They're just like, eh, it's an old house. It's got its, it's got its stuff. Ooh, what's going on? I don't know what that was. They're not scared at all. What's wrong? Oh, I guess they kind of are. Grandma, Grandma, Grandma Holt Huts. I want to say Holtz. All right, so there's a lot of people in there. Let's let's scare the crap out of them. Powers. Um, hide and seek. I don't know what that does, but let's let's do it. There's so many people in there. Come on. What does that do? What are you doing? Are you gonna do something? That was your chance. Oh, here we go. What does hide and seek do? Let's find out. Uh. The Haunter surprises the mortal a handful of times. Okay. Alright, so we still got the, the leak going on. So what is this? I think this is when they start getting scared, when they have the little uh, like red things around them. Either that, or that means they're affected by whatever's going on. So, let's see. Where is everybody at? Let's go up a level. The camera's kind of weird to, to manipulate. It's like... I have to use the right side of the keyboard, like insert and delete, zoom in. But I can use the mouse, but it doesn't really work that that well. It's kind of choppy. Whoa. Okay. Sweet shirt, dude. Um. All right. So let's go to the top. Where is everybody at? This guy coming down the stairs. And there's like nobody upstairs. Everyone is downstairs. Anybody in the basement? No. Hey, there's a guy over here. Let's see what his story is. She seemed like such a sweet old dear, making me tea and all when I came to fix the boiler. Next oh, thing he's I a know, corpse. I'm a dead man, and she's bricked me up. I reckon I could escape into a mortal's body if someone would just get close enough. Okay. I can probably arrange that. What's his powers? No, yep. powers. Roast? Ooh. So, there should be something in this room that I can manipulate that would expose probably the break down the brick in that wall looks like there's like a you know like in old school uh cartoons like tom and jerry you would have uh uh like you could see what's going to be animated uh as opposed to the background because it's a little lighter yeah so all right earth anything oh here we go stone wall what can i trimmer i guess that would that might that might do it I can't. Oh, I don't have no plasm. Okay, so that's my problem. So I need to. I need to scare some people. This is getting ridiculous. Um, this guy needs to stop leaking. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Um. What is that? What's that noise? Oh, that's the alarm saying I'm using too much plasm. All right. So stop leaking. Can I do that? Okay, all right, that works. So I need, I need to like unbind. I need to bind this guy downstairs, maybe. Let's try that. No, upstairs. Because if there's a leak in here, then the, the guy's gonna want to go through there, right? Let's try that. And powers and leak. I don't know. Let's try it. I guess. I mean, you would think that would work. All right. Uh, where's that handyman at? Go to handyman. Oh, he's going upstairs. This might work. Did I do this right? Holy crap! But can he get through that door? Because that door's like it's all boarded up, right? Yeah. No, don't rattle chains. I didn't tell you to rattle chains. Stop it. All right. So we're gonna keep. Huh, that alarm is. Scary. All right, all right. So we're gonna keep that guy from doing anything, so he does nothing. Where are you going? Oh, he's not here to fix the leak. He's just here to fix the really smoky fireplace. Okay, I don't know what that was. Something happened. Ah, uh, it feels good to stretch the old ectoplasm, and now I'm gonna do more than just shock these jokers. That free him? I don't know, did I? I, did, I forgot he was on the roof. Uh, oh yeah, I did. I freed him somehow. I don't know. Oh, I guess because the handyman did the, something with the, the roof and... Oh. 
Corpse, murder, violence, emotional. Goodness. Um, so I need to like withdraw this guy. Bench? Yeah, there we go. Freeing, freeing up some plasmum. Plasm. And let's go downstairs. What's going on downstairs? So this boo guy needs to be benched. And we're going to kind of start fresh-ish. Oh, there's a lot of people in this hall. Okay. Let's, let's get the business. Bind. Oh, no, stop. Not that guy. Bind here. And uh, we're going to make him do some crazy stuff. There's a lot of people in this hallway. Okay, anybody scared? Grandma? Grandma Huts? Who's this? Marcia Huts. She's a believer. She's not really scared. All right, I need to step up my game. Where can I bind this to? What is this? I don't even know what that is. All right, this one's going in here. And she is going to not do anything right now. Because I need to bench this guy. I feel like she's going to be scarier. Powers. Ooh, thunderclap. That sounds scurry. Uh oh. All right. So it looks like they were kind of startled. They sound like the Sims. Oh. Uh oh. Let them conduct their investigation. Okay. So don't scare them, I guess. So let's uh I guess let's bench you. So do I have to what do I have to do to make sure that they go up? Ding dong. Oh, too much. Yeah, get the door. Is that the handyman? No. Uh oh. Oh, it's the handyman. The second corpse. Show it to the police, and victory shall be yours. How do I show it to the police? Is the handyman gonna tell him? He probably should. It's like, hey, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there is a dead body upstairs. Um, spark? I don't know. What's okay? Why am I looking at this? What's going on? That's over here, right? Child. Okay. You guys not scared yet? What's that noise? All right, so the police is right there. Let's uh, let's get rid of this guy just in case. I don't want him to scare him off. Uh oh, here we go. Police guy, did you, did you not see that? He didn't even look. Get your boy back here. Don't go downstairs. Oh no. Upstairs. Idiot. How do I get him upstairs? Um. I don't know. I've done like basically nothing, and it's worked. So maybe I just don't need to do anything. That seems kind of weird. Here's the handyman. Come on, handyman guy. It's just POV. Okay, I just need the cop. Where's the cop at? Oh, is, is he leaving? I hope he's not leaving. Where are you going, cop? Don't go outside. Go upstairs. No, you idiot. Okay, so what's um can I draw some attention to it or something? Um so let's bind this guy. And he's going to this strange vision. Oh, what? How could I not do this? Strange vision makes the ghost temporarily visible. Oh. This ghost. Huh. Okay. Uh oh. What's going on? You guys gonna go upstairs? Where are they going? Go to... 
Okay, they're heading upstairs. Maybe the repair guy was like, hey, uh, I saw something upstairs. You should come take a look at this. They're so slow. It's like the slowest people I've ever seen in my life. Where are you going? Go up one more flight. It's going to show them the, the fireplace? Probably. Yeah, that is right here. Okay, so I don't want I don't want him to scare this guy. So I'm gonna bench that guy so he doesn't scare anyone away. I don't even know if it works like that, but I just it kind of seems like logic, right? All right, and show him. Yep. It's like, hey, do you see this? <laughs> Does this look like a, a skull to you? Hmm. Let's touch my chin and stand uncomfortably close behind you. Like the mortal law enforcers have located a corpse. Good. The police will report this body, uh -oh. but it will take the discovery of a second corpse I think to just initiate did. a full investigation. In I don't know how that door opened. Here we go. Congratulations! Yeah! Your haunting goals are complete! Oh. That was... different. Like... In the t in the uh, tutorial, like the whole point was to just scare the crap out. It's like a sorority house, and the whole point was to scare the crap out of them. But this one was just like somehow do things that will show a corpse to people, and it was a lot different than the tutorial. So that was I was kind of thrown off from that. But yeah, so that's um that's a ghost house. Is that what this is called? Um, pretty cool game. It was super cheap. So if this if you're watching this and the Steam sale is still going on, go buy it. I think it's like. I think it was like a dollar or two dollars or three dollars, something like that. It was really cheap. It was like under five bucks. And um, go check it out. I might, I'll probably play this a couple more times. It, it seems pretty cool. And um, I like how each level is different. So anyway, um, so thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, click on the like button. And if you haven't already, also click on the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.